These are the moulds for the combustion chamber for the rocket mass heater. Uh, I'm trying to make them nicely enough that they are reusable. Um, this is obviously the outside shape. I still have to make the, the plugs. And I'm going to cast a mixture of 1700 degrees refractory concrete with clay balls. Clay balls like that. Uh, <coughs> to reduce the amount of concrete and increase the strength. It's great. Uh, it's quite a lot of work involved in making these moulds, but uh, if I can get 20 castings out of each mould, obviously they're a pair, I'm too impatient to make one mould that does both sides that I have to cast and dry twice. So I'll be making, there's, this is the left and right of the combustion chamber, there's also a left and right of the riser. Uh, which will be cast in the same way. Uh, so I want to do all four castings in one go. Um, because I imagine they probably take a week to dry. And winter's coming. This is the outside of the mould. The outside of the two halves of the mould for the combustion chamber. Each one gets screwed to a board and cast like that. Obviously the core, which I haven't made yet. A pair of moulds. That's taken quite a lot of work to get that one. Get those two to there. Uh, I should put draft in these gaps and fill in all the screw heads and all the holes and sand it and paint it with some really good paint. I'm probably not going to though. Maybe I'll just cover it in masking tape. Last vestiges of heat.
Today I have tidied up a lot and made the core for each side of the combustion chamber. And it's not looking too bad. There's a couple of little things I need to adjust, but it's looking pretty much like it should. And then the outer forms, I definitely should spend a day doing some adjustments before <coughs> painting and pouring. But it's not bad. 